Hello guys, and I'm going to film today my June book haul part two. And I am aware I said that book hauls will be stuffing, but I'm afraid I encountered some jewels, some beautiful gems in my local charity shops and couldn't help but to pick them up. I only have five books to show you guys, but I hope that you'll enjoy this video. It'll be quite shorter than my others, but here we go. The first one I have is from my local um, Mind charity and I'm really glad that I bought this book from there because I'm a massive supporter of mental health so um, yeah so if you have a Mind store and you read a lot you should definitely check out their collection of books so you can support them. Um, so yeah this book is The Woman in Silk by R.J. Gadney and it is about a captain who flies from England to Afghanistan no, who flies back to England from Afghanistan, as I said, um, after he suffers an incident. And he moves into this house, a gothic mansion, and there seems to be some kind of mystery, and there's weird visions, and something to do with medication, it says here. Yet as the December weather deteriorates, so does Hal's certainty that his home is a place of safety. Who or what is trying to frighten him to death? So something weird is going going on in his house and um, yeah, it just sounds like a creepy horror and I'm guessing that's the mansion and yeah, it just looks interesting. Like, I've never heard of this book before but I saw the spine when I got kind of intrigued and picked it up. So I read the back and it just looks pretty good and I, as you might know if you've watched any of my previous videos, I'm a big lover of like horrors and thrillers so hopefully... I will enjoy this book and even if I don't I mean it was £1.50 spent to a good cause so it's totally worth it anyway and um, also I'm just going to say as well um, it says here you get these stickers on it when you get it from a mind charity shop and it says when you finish this book please return it to your local mind shop thank you so if you do um, buy any books from any charity shops Remember, don't hoard them, like remember the people out there that it can support if you give them back to a charity shop and someone else can um, enjoy a good book for a very small fraction of the amount you get from a normal bookshop and still support the charity. So yeah, that's, that's an important thing. So always remember that if you buy any books from a charity shop or any books in general, like if you've got books just sitting about it, like, I can't say anything because I have a huge bookshelf full. But, Phil, obviously, if you need to get rid of books, charity shops are the place to give them to. Okay, the next book I bought is a big beast of a book, and this is also from my local mind shop. And it is by Stephen King, and this is Under the Dome. And I haven't ever heard of this book, really. Um, and I'm a huge Stephen King fan, so that kind of shocked me. But yeah, I hadn't heard of this, and the um, man in the shop said it was quite recent. And yeah, it's a big hefty hardback, it's very thick, I believe it's around a thousand pages. Yeah, 880 pages, so it's it's a big heft of a book. Um, it's a beast, really, it's very thick, very large, I mean, in comparison. Yeah. <laughs> and this cost me £2, and what I'm aware is... Um, it's something has cut a town off from the rest of the world and food, electricity and water run short. Children start to have premonitions. It just seems to be like really creepy and like as I said before I'm a huge fan of Stephen King and like his horrors. Like he just tells them amazingly like one of my favourite books is The Shining by Stephen King and I love the way that he he creates his characters and how he it's an art form. I, I just really appreciate his character um, building, especially with characters like Jack Torrance. And I just think it's really, I don't know, I just really enjoy his writing. And recently I bought his Mister, his newest book, Mr Mercedes. So my collection of Stephen King's books is slowly growing. So yeah, I'm looking forward to read this one, hopefully sometime in the summer because... I don't think I'll be able to read this while I have to do coursework and exams. But yes, so looking forward to this one. The next book I have 
is also from a charity book charity shop and also by Stephen King and that is it. You may have heard of this book, um, it is a film, it is based around a clown that is really creepy and like seems to prey on children and lives in a sewer and that to me is terrifying as I am petrified of clowns so you might be, think might be thinking why? Why did you purchase this book? I saw it on the shelf and I was like wow it's the original cover that's really cool because you never see them it's always like the new covers and stuff and I was like oh I can just get it like it's only £1.50 and even if I don't read it it goes to a cause anyway and I don't have to read it I can read it at some point I can always give it to someone but I've convinced myself that at some point I will read this book. Um, Stephen King, as I have said in this video, is one of my favourite authors and I need to read one of his most famous books really to claim that I'm a big fan. So I should read this book, really get my teeth into it and forget about my fear of clowns and just embrace the beautiful writing, the creepiness and hopefully don't get too absorbed that I start having nightmares and stuff. But yeah. Um, I don't really find books that scary, um, I get scared by films, but not by books, so I should be okay. So hopefully this will help me conquer my fear of clowns. <laughs> the next books I have, unfortunately, aren't from charity shops, these are from the wonderful Amazon, and I bought these because I've wanted these books for such a long time that I can't even emphasise, and my money went into my bank account, and... I went onto Amazon and put these in my basket and I had enough in my bank account and that was brilliant. So, the first book I have, I've got the first two books of the Lunar Chronicles trilogy. And so the first one is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. Maya, Maya. Then the second one is Scarlet. And I'm just going to say that I really like these covers, like, I think they're really pretty. Um, yeah, like all I know is that these are kind of like retellings of famous fairy tales, but they're kind of got a weird twist so like I know that Cinder in this is obviously a retelling of Cinderella but she's a cyborg or something and that just sounds really weird but really cool I love like dystopian twists on fairy tales just fairy tales in general are brilliant to me I just really like them but yeah um so I shall be reading that one soon and then the sequel the second part of the trilogy is Scarlet and this focuses on the story of Little Red Riding Hood and I think the next one is Cress, and I'm not sure how that relates to the actual character because Cinder, Cinderella, Scarlet, you know, because Red Ryan holds Scarlet's shade of red. But the next one is called Cress, and that's Rapunzel. And that kind of confused me because I don't see how Cress relates, but I'll find out when I read the book. And all I know is that the characters from each book kind of intertwine and the stories go together, almost like a Game of Thrones type thing, but completely different. <laughs> So yeah, um, the, so the story's interlink. I'm, there's another book that has been um, announced by Marissa and that is Winter and that is going to be the fourth instalment so it's going to be a series and not a trilogy. So I'm excited for that to come out because I really want to binge read them and yeah so I'm really excited for these. Loads of people have been talking about them. They've become a best selling series and Penguin, Penguin publishing them so they must be good. Um, I'm just really enjoying fairy tale retellings at the minute. Um, like I recently read Dorothy Must Die, and I have the Alice in Zombieland books, The White Rabbit Chronicles, waiting for me to read. So I've just been trying to like venture into fairy tale land. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll enjoy these. I mean, I've never really liked Cinderella as a fairy tale, but hopefully the cyborg twist will keep me interested. But yeah, I'm very intrigued to these books. I want to see where she'll go, what direction it's going to take. So yeah. It's going to be exciting. So, thank you for watching. So, that's the five books I bought. Again, I bought them from the charity shop, so don't shy away from charity shops. I mean, I know some people are book perfectionists and don't like their books to be damaged. And I am quite like that, but this book is mildly damaged here. But I don't really mind because it's for a good cause and I didn't have to pay an extortionate amount, so... It's worth it. I mean, if you pay a lot for it, but if you if you pay like how much should this be? This should be seven pound seven pounds ninety nine. If you paid the full RRP for the book and it didn't come in pristine condition, I can understand um, the 
aggravation. But a second hand book in this good a condition, especially a book this old as well, I'm just very happy with these finds. They're little gems hidden in my high street. So don't shy away from charity shops because charity shops are brilliant. So yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm just going to show you very quickly what I'm reading at the minute. And I'm going to start doing this at the end of all of my videos and I'm going to start linking my Goodreads at the bottom. So yeah, I'm now reading The Three by Sarah Lotz, which I'm not very far into, but I already know I'm going to really enjoy it already. But yeah, so that is what I'm reading. Um, let me know in the comment section what you guys are reading and what by what you've seen me buy, what do you think I'd like to enjoy and what you think I should read next. So thank you very much for watching. It is, it's been a pleasure as always. Happy reading, guys.